Hello everyone. In this video, I want to discuss about some remarks on, on the KD3's algorithm, speaking a bit about the time complexities and also showing a very good case for a KD3 in particular and a very bad case for the search. If we do nearest neighbor search without using KD3s, it is kind of like doing brute force search of the neighbors. And that takes big O K times N times D for predictions, right? Because we need to go over all the training points, that's N, and to calculate the distance, we need to use all the dimensions. This is why it's N times D. And we also need to multiply by K because we need to do that for each of the neighbors we want to find. And the, the prediction space complexity here is big O1 because we are not using any memory to retrieve the neighbors. They are located already in the training set. So what happens with the time complexity when we use KD trees? Here we have training time complexity because we actually need to build the tree. And why is big O D times N times log N? So first we have N log N this is because of the binary tree, right? Um, because we have one node for each of the training points. And given that we have one node per training point, we have n log n for the cost of the binary tree of construction. Why we need to multiply this by d? Because recall that each point is basically repeated for each of the dimensions because we are rotating the dimensions for every data point. So after we have the tree, we need the prediction time complexity. So let's say we already have the tree constructed and then we need to find the k nearest neighbors. We're going to need log and time to travel the tree till we reach the desired area. But also we're going to have to do this k times in a naive implementation. If we use a more efficient implementation, we can get rid of this multiplication and we're going to have big O k plus square root of n actually, because we can use a heap data structure to save the current best nearest neighbors without the need of running the same search k times. We are not going to see the details why this log gets transformed to square root in that implementation because it's out of the scope of this uh, video. The training space complexity is big O d times n. Why? Here, we basically need to save the tree in memory. This is why it takes n because we have n nodes and d because the, all the nodes are repeated according to the amount of dimensions we have. So this is why it's big O d times n for saving the tree. And what is the space complexity for predictions? It is big O1 because after we save the tree, in order to predict, we don't need any extra memory for the prediction. Here we have two extreme cases. With this, I want to show that KD trees do not perform the same every time. It'll depend on the data. So this is a very good case. Consider that the, the grade areas are areas that we did not explore. So in this case, if we want to find the neighbor of this point located in the cross, in this case, the distribution of data points allow that to prune most of the training cases and find very fast the nearest neighbor. So in this case, we save a lot of time using the KD3 compared with the brute force. But in the right side, we have a bad case. What it means here, if we want to search for the nearest neighbor of this data point, we see that we end up exploring most of the areas because of the distribution of points. And we only could prune the gray areas, which is a very small percentage of the training cases. Of course, these are extreme distributions, but we can see that at the end, it will depend on our training data, how much time we save by using a KD3 for nearest neighbor search.